Hey guys, what's happening? Um, today I'm going to be showing you a nice little tweak that you can do to your uh, old iPhone 2G or 3G that you've just got laying around that um, since you, you know, you've upgraded to your iPhone 4 or whatnot. Even if you're still using it, it's still good to do. Now, uh, the tweak is to install Android or iDroid onto your iPhone 2G or 3G. Now, uh, it uses a program called Bootlace which you get through Cydia and I'm gonna step by step through it uh, to show you guys how to put Android on your phone. Uh, it installs the latest version of Android 2.2.1 uh, and it requires a jailbroken iPhone. Okay, uh, and the best bit about about uh, sorry <laughs> about this is that it does not require a PC or a Mac to install. It's all done on the phone, which is nice. So um, I'll include the link in the description to Redmond Pi. They've got a nice tutorial, simple, um, very uh, easy to do, even for the most unexperienced person out there much easier than it was before which which was kinda complicated I will, I will say that so I'll put the link in this in the description down there um, to basically show you guys uh, in more depth if you um, if, if this video hasn't helped you enough so basically um, for this to work you must either have an iPhone 2G or an iPhone 3G for an iPhone 2G it has to be running iOS 3.1.2 and or 3.1.3 they're the firmwares which um, c you can do this on an iPod, iPhone 2G now as for the iPhone 3G which is what I'm going to be using today my old iPhone 3G uh, it must be running it supports firmwares from 3.1.2 all the way to 4.1 so that's 3.1.2, 3.1.3, 4.0, 4.0.1, 4.0.2 .0 and 4.1 uh, if you've missed any of that it'll be in the description also okay now um, now with the jailbreaking tools you, it must be jailbroken with uh, either Pornage tool, Red Snow or Black Rain one of those three that's what you need for this to work that's all in the thing that bootlace, bootlace the program which installs um, Android or iDroid on your device will run on okay now if you yeah, if those requirements aren't met please do not attempt this because it could require a restore, restore now let's see uh, basically once you've done that you're going to go well once you, your iPhone's obviously jailbroken now you're going to go into Cydia and you have to install a uh, source to then download Bootlace alright so I'll wait for this to load okay now that we're into Cydia oh, sorry. like usual on your iPhone 3G or 2G it will take a while sorry I've been used to my uh, iPhone 4 okay now once you're in Cydia you're going to go to manage then sources edit add now you're going to type in http colon forward slash forward slash um, it already, already have it there and you're going to type repo dot neon n e o n koala k o a l a dot co dot uk forward slash now as you can see there that's the source that you're going to enter now this is the source that allows you to download bootlace all right i've already done it so there it is now once it's done you're going to go into it and there you go bootlace so click it and you're going to hit, well, mine says modify because I already have it, hit install, okay? So once you've installed that, get out. Okay, Oop, sorry. Now, you're going to see bootlace right there, if you can see right there. Okay, so now once you're out, you're going to load up bootlace. And it may take a bit, it may, um, I think it replaces the kernel or something, or flashes the kernel. Um, basically don't worry about that, that's completely normal, you may have to do a restart after of your phone 
but that's fine. So, um, also make sure you guys have full battery while you're doing this, and you are on a 3G connect, uh, sorry, not 3G, a Wi-Fi connection, because you are going to download stuff through Bootlace. Um, so, best to be on a Wi-Fi connection, and charge battery. If not, have it plugged into the, to the PowerPoint. Okay, now, we're just going to wait for this to load, and I'm going to show you what to do next after that, once, after it's loaded. Okay, now this is the screen you got to come to, right? Now, first thing you gotta to have to do is you're going to go. Sorry, let's go back here for a sec. Um, you're going to go to I open iBoot, okay? Now you're gonna get a screen like this, uh, except I've already installed it, okay? You're gonna have a screen saying install here, much like that one right there, okay? Now you're gonna hit install, and it's going to install the the firmware, I believe and the open iBoot software which allows you to boot up into Android okay now once that's installed completely you next you're gonna go down to I oops sorry iDroid which is right next to it you're gonna hit that okay so open iBoot first install then you go to iDroid and it's gonna also have an uh, install button saying install for iDroid okay and it will give you uh, information there okay now you're gonna hit install and then you want to get and then it's going to download and install iDroid okay now that may take a while make sure you're on a Wi-Fi connection I repeat okay now after that is installed you're going to go to down the next button saying quick boot I don't know if you guys can see that but there it is um, and you're going to have console and Android you're going to hit Android this will Oh, hang on. This will boot your device into Android. Okay, uh, there's a warning saying this will reboot your device into Android immediately. Are you sure? Of course, we're sure. Yes. Now we are going to reboot into Android. Now this will take some time. Um, here we go. As you can see up the top, it says loading iDroid. And so it's booting up into Android. Um, now you can boot. You can boot up on boot. It'll give you an option saying uh, iOS or Android, and you will select whichever you want. So just restart your phone every time you can select which firmware you would like to or operating system you would like to boot into. Now, as you can see there, now Android is loading up, and you can see the Frebos boot. I think that's what they call it. Um, coming on the screen. This will take some while. Okay. Then you're going to get the Android logo coming on your screen. And it's shiny, which is kind of neat. Now you know that it's actually worked and you... I got excited the first time. <laughs> now, and you're booted up in the Android, as you guys can see here. Okay, so we're going to slide like that to unlock and you have Android running on your iPhone 3G. Okay. Um, not everything works perfectly. Um, the hardware wasn't designed for it, so it. And you can basically do everything you can do on an Android phone. Um, I found it some. It was sort of hard to get used to, but I got used to it, and um, everything works. I found. So I uh, actually the camera I find some for some reason I can't get it to work. But anyway, uh, it's not important. So there it is. Uh, Everything, all the information will be in the description if you need, um, including the or Redmond Pi site uh, information and the source you must install. Okay, so uh, yeah, all you need to do boot and back into iOS is just to reboot your phone, and it'll give you the option saying uh, boot into iDroid or boot into iOS. So there you go, guys. It's a nice little feature to have on your iPhone 3G or 2G. Um, again, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, iTech scene is out. See you guys.